putting together the split fire storage stand that we have. Okay, that should work. Uh, this thing was, you know, looks pretty straightforward. I don't think this is gonna be too big of a of an issue for a, for a guy like me, so. And you're just gonna simply bolt this center brace here, and then there's another, another piece identical to this on the other end, bolt that together, and a couple little wings that, in the middle. I don't know exactly what those wings are for, but we'll, we'll bolt those on, they won't take long at all. But yeah, so this would be a good storage stand for the, uh, the split fire log splitter that we have, three point mount hydraulic unit. We're gonna show you that guys, or we're gonna show you that guy today, I should say. Put it through its paces. Should time that would have taken like 10 minutes. Yeah. Easy enough. All right, let's split some wood. Right, guys so we're getting this all set up got it on the Kubota M4D 071 71 horsepower tractor um, pretty good hydraulic system on it so you can get these log splitters to match whatever size tractor you need and split fire can help you out with that you just go right to their website to do that um, we're running a hydraulic unit you can get a, a PTO powered unit if you want to or a self power unit but we're going to use the tractor now this tractor does not have um, power beyond hydraulic so it's got these two levers that control additional hydraulic circuits on the back side and you know I, I thought i understood hydraulics enough but one of these and i think it's this one here is supposed to have a continuous flow function so you can control it action it either way but if you want to push it all the way one way it stays locked and it should in theory i thought leave that flow running through the circuit on the back side because the lock splitter has its own controls it has its own levers to to make things happen so Basically, we just want that flow to continuously go through it. So keeping this all the way forward in the what you would think would be continuous flow function doesn't actually provide continuous flow. I don't know what's going on. Um, kind of goofy. Can't figure it out. So a little way around that is essentially I'm gonna just I'm gonna jam. This thing actually works pretty well. I'm gonna jam it kind of right in between. I'm gonna have this held open, this lever down, and hold it open just to keep the, the flow going. Um, some guys have said they've done that before and a question if it gets the circuit too hot or not. Um, I don't know, I guess we'll find out, but a lot of different ways to do it. That's what we're gonna do now until I can figure out a different way. And uh, we're gonna be splitting wood. I just cut it up all about the same lengths. I don't know, 16 or 18 inches, something like that uh, the other day. So we're gonna throw that through here. Pretty good diameter. What do you say that is, Chris? About, well, oh yeah, yeah, at least. I mean, this is stuff that was too big to go through the processor. So the processor goes up to 14. So this stuff's all bigger than 14, uh, with an exception of a few little end pieces. But um, yeah, a good 16, 18 inches for most of it around. I'm excited to see how it works.
Alrighty folks, so this is my first time using a log splitter of any kind, not just a split fire, but this is just the first time for me. I've always, not that I've done a, a ton of firewood splitting, but it's always been with an ax in my own two hands. So it is just a treat to be able to use something else besides that. It's, well, firewood is just a pain in the butt. So if you can take a lot of that heavy work out of it, it, it just, it just is a game changer. So this worked really well. Again, you can kind of see the whole operation, just two levers there that are, that are going on. One is to control um, the log razor, the log lifter there. And then the other one, just to get that action going either way on the splitter. And now this can be split both ways. I kind of, yeah, you can see as it goes along, I'm, I'm getting a better feel for it, you know, and, and, and certain scenarios you can split it uh, literally going both ways. Just split, after you kind of split a big log, um, kind of put one half on, on the other end and split one direction, then put the other half on the other end and split back the other direction. So, you know, it takes a little bit of a um, getting used to it, but worked really smooth, worked really well. We did run into some of that same nasty uh, material, or, or that, that tree, what was that? Uh, I think it ended up being an elm is what everybody else said. We use the same stuff in the firewood processor that we had too, and that is some gnarly stuff, completely different than anything else, and you can tell just how hard it is to split. Now I had that tractor set at about 2,000 RPMs. It was not at full throttle. I just felt like I wanted to run it at, at 2,000 engine RPMs just to see how it did. Um, if I didn't have to run it wide open, then I'd prefer not to. Didn't seem like I had much of an issue there, so you know, probably not the full hydraulic power that it could put out, um, but plenty good for what I was doing today. And now Split Fire is a channel sponsor, so they are gracious enough to send out this equipment, um, let me demo it, try it out, make videos of it, and then you're gonna go right to their website, whether you're in the US or in Canada. So they'll take your order, help you get set up with the right equipment to fit your tractor. If you wanna get a self-powered unit, you're, you can go that route too. They have an electric unit now. Uh, they got a chipper, they got a carry all, they got a lot of different stuff out there. So you gotta check out their, their website, Split Fire. There's a, a version for Canada and the US. And you'll see, I started out with a four-way wedge on here. We have a two-way wedge as well that I, uh, I, I put on a little bit later in the video. You know, I was trying to go back and, and think of what, um, Kyle's video said when he originally did them, I think the uh, the four-way wedge is for the kind of the smaller, cleaner stuff, and then the two-way wedge for the bigger, gnarlier, nastier stuff, um, you know, more concentrated force, and uh, just a two-way wedge there, and then you can throw the four-way wedge back on or just keep splitting it with the two-way, handles it fine either way after that. And as you can see, changing knives is a real piece of cake to do. It's just one pin, that's all it takes, um, in and out. I mean, it's a few seconds, just a matter of seconds to get it done. You know, I didn't realize how much fire we were gonna get out of just what I had cut up here, which was, uh, oh man, what was it? It was, well, I can't remember. It was either two or three logs that we had out here that I had come out and cut up uh, previously, but completely filled up this Ultratech trailer. And then we still got more to go and I got a lot more firewood too. So this is gonna be, man, it's just kind of relaxing to get this done and I can see myself coming out after work just to knock it out. Um, plenty of firewood for the fire pit, um, for the fireplace inside. You know, we're not gonna heat our house with wood, not gonna heat the barn with wood, but um, a fun demonstration nonetheless. Now, Split Fire has been around for a long time, so you know this is a product that a lot of you guys probably already have, and and I'd love to get your feedback on it too. If you want to let me know what you think about them in the comments section, you know I've done a lot of homework because I've I've had a lot of customers ask for this type of equipment, and, and it's something that I just didn't really have within the product lines that I carried. And so um, researching Split Fire, they just kept coming up as a as a kind of the, the top tier, the upper echelon in the splitter kind of field and so I was really pleased to be able to set up something with them working with them again I'm not carrying it you go right to their website to buy it but again I think it is worth reiterating that you don't have to get the hydraulic version like this you can get a version that runs out the PTO you can get the self-powered version the, the electric version a lot of different setups they are more than happy to help you get set up with exactly what meets your needs and as you can see I think it's it's kind of worth noting too this is um, quick hitch compatible we did a whole overview on this previously as well um, but Cat 1, quick hitch compatible. Believe you can get it with uh, Cat 2 pins on there. We got this one with the bushing, so you can go Cat 1 or Cat 2. You don't have to use a quick hitch, though. So you can hook it up right to your three-point as well. So to get your hands on one of these, go to Split Fire's website. You see that Ultratech trailer back there. If you want to get one of those, that's something that we sell. We also sell all sorts of tractor attachments for the front end loader and the three-point hitch. Go to goodworkstractors.com. We sell and ship all over the country. If you enjoyed today's video, we'd love to have you tag along. Hit that subscribe button right down below or check out our Facebook page. You can follow us there as well. I want to thank you for taking time out of your day to stop by. And until next time, stay safe. We'll see you soon.